they're Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I called you Pisces and recorded, started recording the video and I had to cut that because I was like, they're not going to, they're not going to take that. I was like, oh, hey, Pisces. I got Pisces on the brain. Hey, Sagittarius, this is your reading. This is your reading. We're checking on the person on your mind, how they feel about you, what their intentions are towards you, what they would want to say to you. And then we're going to go deeper and we're going to go into what's next in the connection, what their likely actions are towards you and even more channeled messages. I've really been enjoying the channeled messages and I mean the extendeds. They've been really interesting and it's crazy to see what else comes out and how it really enriches the, their feelings, their intentions. So how do they feel about Sagittarius? How does the person on Sagittarius' mind feel towards Sagittarius? <sighs> I'm so mad. I was like recording and I was like, did I say Pisces? Oh no, I did. <laughs> so... Okay, Sagittarius. So the person on your mind. Now that we've seen the prettiness, we're going to go down into the actual business. And go into this. Let's just, let's, 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 let's get a little bit more color today. How do they feel? Excuse you. How do they feel about... Kind of want to flip that as well, but um, <clears throat> this person, I feel like they want to say something to you, but they don't they're afraid to say something to you that's what i'm getting immediately i feel like this person is i don't know if they're scared of you <laughs> okay um wow yeah this is showing up even here um i think this person has been for a while wanting to share something with you to tell you something um uh but they haven't been able to. And they want to say it soon. Because even here, when you look at the Eight of Swords with this eagle coming, and I feel like this person has been doing some self-reflection, some realizations on the inside with themselves, to themselves, maybe even to their friends. But over time, Sagittarius, this person is damn near almost ready to say something. That's how they're feeling. I feel like this person is getting ready to talk or feeling like they need to talk. What I want to see is what's up with... I, I think they've just been really in their head about everything. In their feelings about everything. Gathering their thoughts. And they want to say something to you. Mm -hmm. They're tired of... um. They feel like they don't want to hide anymore. Like, they're feeling stronger and braver. Tell me about forgiving and learning. We have the Ten of Wands, which is going home. Someone is is tired of holding on to something. Um, they're finally ready to talk. They're tired of holding, holding, holding on. They're finally ready. They've carried the burdens. They've they've stocked up what they want to do. What they they've packaged what they want to say. So I'm very interested to see what they want to say to you, Sag, because we're doing that. Um, and they're ready to talk. And with the King of Swords in the reverse, this couldn't be more perfect. They're ready to talk. Like, they're no longer, you know, the storm is either there or it's still going on or it's past. But either way, the King of Swords is in the reverse here. And he's saying, yo, I'm ready. Um... I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get out of this stalemate or this quietness. Um, I'm ready to talk. So if you have been feeling like you want to talk to them, they might be, this could be, you know, they're ready to talk. Um, if this is 
them coming towards you and something that you've been feeling and expecting they're coming fairly soon tell me about release your ex what's going on there i'm hearing i can't quit you the five of swords and the moon wow and the five of swords this person i feel like if there was a point where you were and I'm going to say this just in terms of how I'm looking at this. And we have the five of pentacles at the top of the deck out in the cold. If you at some point were begging this person to talk, like putting out, hey, let's talk. Hey, you putting out these feelers and they were not. I feel like now they see that maybe you stopped doing that. Um, and now the tables have sort of turned. They're sort of like, wait, I'm standing out here for what like i feel like they've had time to think tell me more about the five of swords because with this the, the wheel of the wheel of fortune in the reverse it really there's they really i don't know if they feel embarrassed or not but they're kind of seeing their ignorance or like they're it's like a faux pas like oh god what have i done that was so gross of me Ew. And now they're like, I may need to beg. Like, I'm... I may need to beg. For some of you, this could be someone who has released an ex. Yeah. <laughs> they released the other person. And they're looking at you now. If they were looking at someone else, they have released that person and might be looking at you now. I feel like this person wants to come towards you. With the moon high, they... Tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon. I want to know about the moon. I want to I I know about the moon. This mask. There's a mask over the moon. But I feel like... With the mask falling off with deception. Tell me about this. There's some but you can't even hide behind that mask. Tell me about the moon. What's the moon saying? Bloody victory. A, a bad victory. Yeah, they know what they fuck they messed up. The Knight of Swords. The tower in the reverse. Some shit happened. Um I feel like this person has if if this person was dealing elsewhere. This person, if, if even if they weren't, if they're dealing elsewhere, they got spurned over there. And that really made them look at you much better. And if you were someone who was like, hey, let's talk, let's, can we just, you know, whatever. And they snubbed you or they didn't. There's something here to me that's like them going, oh, wow, how bad was that? Um... I want to see what their intentions are. I don't, I don't even want to, they, they, I feel like their feelings towards you are, <clears throat> they think about you. They think about what happened between you two, how, um, someone may have acted in an uncouth kind of way. Um, but it was a facade. It was, it was, um, too much going on so much so that i don't know what to do so i'm gonna do what is a knee-jerk reaction which is stonewall i'm going to have a rock face but now i'm just kind of like looking around from the corners of my eye noticing that you're not around and oh my goodness what have i done is it too late i need to da -da 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 -da. now what i want to see is this very soon what are their intentions what is that expression of love about let's see because what is happening here what is this person's intentions towards sagittarius you might be a scorpio cusp but i almost said scorpio what are their intentions towards or scorpio could be important to you towards sagittarius all the signs are coming out for you sag what are their intentions towards sag Passion. Let's give your leadership a chance. Top of the deck. <clears throat> you are my passions for life. Huh. 
for some of you, if... I don't know, I guess. I'll just say this. For all of you, if you recognize yourself as the third party, um, or if you're cross-watching in some type of way, this person could be... Y'all could still be in the area where if, especially if you're still asking this person to talk and engage, they could be um, moving away from you. Okay, that's what they intend to do. Now, going away from that story, this is a bit complicated. Because it looks like this person wants something to break between the two of you in terms of their intentions. If they left you for someone new or something new, someone new, uh, a project, an opportunity that was a good one, that could be a person, place, thing. Um, they want you to know that that's done. I don't think it went well. <laughs> I don't think it went well. Whatever happened there did not go well. Tell me about their intentions towards Sagittarius. Okay. Oh my gosh. Deception again comes up. And this one... Okay. This person is still in their head over you, Sag. They... They really are. They're... Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Their intentions towards you are... in the area of... Still thinking through what they're thinking through. So what we said in their feelings was they're thinking through, they're coming, they want, they feel, all these things towards you, etc. Et but it looks like their intentions aren't even fully formed yet here. It looks like they still think about the break between you two. They still think about the... Um, the destruction of what happened between you two whatever event took place or is taking place they think that there is love lost here and for some of you i feel like they don't think that you can take them back they want and, and i get this they want to see how things go <laughs> so they're being passive about it Okay, they're being passive about their neck, their intentions. Their intentions are kind of like, no, we'll see how it goes, you know. We'll see how it goes. I'm not really committing to anything. I'm not seeing them committing to anything. I think they're committing to, we'll see how it goes. Life will provide a path type, type stuff. What are their intentions towards Sag? Looking for signs and symbols and hoping something happens in the world to bring you two together. There are so many majors here. Major, major, major. One. 
action card. <laughs> Three of Pentacles, solo dolo here, and Nine of Swords in the reverse. This person has not yet figured out their intentions. Tell me about wedding. What is wedding? Yeah. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> yeah, this card is trying to pop up. This person has not yet decided on anything that they want to do towards you in as far as their intentions. In the extended, we're going to look at their likely actions and what's next in the connection and suss out what's happening here. But wedding is clarified by the chariot in reverse. They don't know where they're going. They're pulling themselves in multiple directions and so they can't really move. They're still stuck in the ground. They're still stuck in their thoughts. They're still thinking things through. But more further than that, they have abdicated their choice on what to do next in terms of what they intend to do or they flip-flop between i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that. they've abdicated that choice to the divine well just give it to god well we'll just see how it goes and that's sort of what they're committed to there is commitment here in the form of the hierophant to me the hierophant stays the hierophant just stays being marriage to me i don't know like that's just what it is but the hierophant could also mean, uh, I guess, something more than that. <laughs> it's just, to me, it's marriage. So, like, wedding and commitment uh, lining up with commitment here. But there are multiple commitment cards coming up here in terms of, like, structures. Um, I think they want to maintain a structure that makes sense. So, I think if an opportunity arises for them to do something towards you that's what they intend to do because it'll be like a sign so until something strikes until something strikes for them to choose a path one or the other for now they choose to not choose until something you know happens they choose to not choose and hey, we're the lovers which is sweet but it's also about a choice. The chariot here being about a choice. Okay. <laughs> no. They, they, I feel, are committed to choosing and making a choice, but they have not yet made the choice. <sighs> they want, intend to take action, but they don't know which action to take or when to take that action. Yeah, I think this person is still very much musing and getting through what they need to get through. With the Queen of Cups here and the Magician, they're still manifesting and hoping, show me a sign or you come towards me or whatever the case may be. But they're still, to me, waiting to take action. Even with this boy, the Ace of Wands, I feel like this person is giving it to the divine and that is the action that they're taking the queen of cups here on her inner side talks about someone who's been through heartbreak so it might be difficult to make a choice or to do or commit to something more than giving it to god allowing things to unfold naturally it's difficult to make a choice outside of abdicating choice um because of what they've been through as well on this side the queen of cups is an energy of somebody who has also been through it has also felt pain in relationships and they don't want to stick their neck out for something that um they don't intend to stick their neck out for something that they don't that doesn't seem right but at the same time um they they still feel something for it and and towards towards action it's a very honestly it's a very nuanced energy it's very interesting this person because i feel like this person is wrestling with different paths to take uh when it comes to what they intend to do towards you especially considering whatever happened between you two or whatever is going on between you two with the past life here whatever happened between you two um 
and just how to move. So what do they want to say? What do they want to say to my, my Sag? This could be that you may have been the one that had someone else if there was a scenario like that. Maybe they saw you with somebody else. Maybe there was, you know, something like that. But this I left when I saw you with someone else to me kind of feels like I left when I saw someone else. Um, and that being <coughs> something that is relevant to this connection, perhaps. Um... The song, every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back, is in my head. From, I think it's Chaney. Every time I try to go, something keeps pulling me back, me back, telling me I need you in my life. So, perhaps that's relevant to you. Alright, so we have, it was my fault, but I blamed you. Um... What happened here i mean there just seems to be maybe if if there were others in this connection or other situations in this connection then there you go and maybe they 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 may have taken an, a, a disproportionate action to you. So what I mean is, oh, you don't... Uh, when you're looking for problems with somebody, you're going to find problems with them. And if it means justifying your behavior then you might do that. But I feel like with this, it was my fault, but I blamed you. It's like someone saying like, you drove me into the arms of another, or I didn't want to spend it, just something weird like that. I don't react when people mention you. I think they do. I feel like they perk up and want to know information about you. And they do prod and poke and, and see like, oh, okay, like what, what, what do you think? Like what, what do you, what what do you know about this person you speak to me through music um in the reverse i feel like i feel like this person has on, has you on their mind sag i don't think they have to resort to music to to see you in their life i think you're in many places in their life in terms of signs symbols etc I wish I could take back my words. I, I feel like this person... I don't feel like they do wish they could take back their words. They just wish they could maybe expand on them. Explain a little bit more and say... Or say, yes, this was happening. Um, like, flesh them out more. Yes, this was happening. But but I want to explain why. Like, I just feel like I'm getting explanation energy from this. I'm feeling like I'm getting someone who wishes they could continue telling the truth and not just saying the hurtful parts we need to talk right i know what you want me to do and say but i'm not there yet i want it all i want to be free i need some space i adore you i can feel the desperation and i don't want it power status standing high value so there was some type of power trip in this dynamic um 
this person may have had a power trip or they may have seen you as a higher value person or saw themselves as someone who was higher value and didn't want to fraternize with whatever your dynamic was here um but there was like a trip here someone either felt insecure or someone felt better than someone else or someone saw someone who was conventionally or perceptually someone looked better than someone else in a certain option not looks but in a certain oh this is a better person to have be around or someone to better spend my time with or and this event is more whatever and that influenced the connection so it's almost like perhaps what they wish they could say would be to say just more about what happened or what is happening I can feel the desperation and I don't want it. I feel like this could be in both ways. They could have felt your desperation and your desire. And when I say desperation, it's it's not a negative thing. I think a lot of people are just like, oh, you're so desperate. And it's like, I hate that, how that has such a negative connotation. We just get like that sometimes as human beings. We get emotionally hungry, you know? Um, so i think there was just a desire here that was so strong that someone could feel and didn't want to either theirs or yours or both at different times um i adore you so they have a soft spot for you and how you are as a person in your quirks i need space i think this person needed some type of and maybe continue continues to need some type of space what i want to do here is um see what's next in the connection so we can carry this energy over into the extended <sighs> to see what we can see um coming up and also pull some guidance for you in regards to this connection like what What can we expect is happening next between the two of you and this, this connection? So let's go ahead and ask that question really quickly. Um, if you're following me to the extended, the link for that is in the description box below. What's next in this connection? What's the next phase in this connect connection? What's next? Spirit. I'm using the Lenormand because it has so much power. <laughs> Amazing. All our brights. Love that. Oh. Okay. Sagittarius is guidance in love. Like, what is their guidance in love at this time? Spark. Don't lose your shine. Keep shining. Raise your status. Raise your high valueness. You are a clear channel for divine creativity. There's a spark in you. And you have every reason to move forward with optimism and hope. Open yourself to inspiration and allow life to show you its beauty and part in co-creating it. <laughs> this is the perfect time to give birth to an idea, start a new relationship or job, or any, or begin any endeavor. Attraction is high as you connect with others who can co-create joyous experiences and join with you in expressing the finer aspects of life. Watching a spark turn to a flame and stoking that fire is a gratifying action. So for you Sagittarius at this time is for you to be open, open to spirit, open to creativity, open to doing something new, open to being out there in the world and starting something new and um, just really feeding your yourself you know bringing life back into your world and um feeding your environment as it feeds you 
So I wish you everything. Uh, good luck. We're going to be going into the extended now to look into this energy here with the ship, the tower, and the mice. Um, the tower in the Lenormand is not the tower in the tarot. It's actually about building, um, about strength, about power, um, not so much about destruction necessarily. So we're going to see what is happening here with these mice and the ship and the tower as a whole and what's next in the connection. So what are, I will see you in the extended, which is where I'm going now. Bye. Okay. What are, what is the person on the stage of Tiris is mine? likely actions towards Sagittarius. 